Do you know the sign language for love? You begin by making the letter L by sticking up pointer finger and out your thumb. Then you add the little finger so the two middle fingers are still against your palm. The last thing you do is to take this letter L and the symbol for love and point it towards the person that you love or that you're talking to. Love is one of the big ideas of Good Friday. The other one is that on Good Friday, we remember the pain, the agony, the price that Jesus paid because he loved us. The symbol for Jesus is palm with the pointer finger pressing to the center and then the other hand. Jesus died on a cross. He was held in place by nails that were driven through the palms of his hands. And so the symbol for Jesus reminds us of the price that Jesus paid. When Jesus was dying on the cross, he felt very alone. His closest friends had told people that they didn't know him. Judas, one of his disciples, had betrayed him and turned him into the authorities. Even the two robbers who were side by side, crucified the same day, were making fun of him. The soldiers that had driven those nails into the palms of his hands were being rude, calling him names and saying rude things. Worst of all, Jesus felt that God had gone away and left him too. He felt that God was hiding from him. But when Jesus looked down at all those gathered around his cross, he saw things differently. He did see some of his disciples. He saw his mother and the other women who had been with him through his ministry. He looked around and he loved each one of the people he saw. He remembered that all the pain, all the suffering that he was going through was for them. But it was for you too. Each of you who turned to him and asked forgiveness will be forgiven. Jesus hung all day long on the cross. And late in the afternoon, he said, it is finished. And he died. There will come a time in your life when you feel let down by others. They may make fun of you or you may feel all alone. You might even feel that God is hiding from you. And when this happens, think of Jesus. And because of what he went through on Good Friday, Jesus knows just how you feel. If it weren't for the nails and the cross, we wouldn't know what being truly forgiven feels like. It's through, the nails, it's through the nails and the cross that we have hope for eternal life, life that never ends in heaven with Jesus. Let us pray. 
God. Every time I see a nail, it reminds me of the pain and the sorrow that Jesus had to go through to save us and to offer hope for eternal life. Amen.